what can Windows on ARM do for mobile computing? Hi and welcome. If you're new, welcome. I hope we earn your subscription today. So Windows on ARM, pretty decent and wide subject concerning mobile computing. It all started way back on a Lumia. Lumia 950s to be specific, the uh, Lumia 950 XL, which I happen to have one of, and I have Windows on ARM running on it. The project, and let me say his name properly because I hear so many people mispronounce it. Il s'appelle Gustave Mons. So his name is Gustave Mons. Pretty sure. Anyway, the project brought Windows, first Windows 10 and now Windows 11, to the Lumia 950 XL, and that was the first project to do this. There are some other projects. Windows on ARM has been put onto OnePlus 6T and a few other devices. I need to do a little more research on that. I'm actually researching right now, and I'll explain why. So I have Windows 11 on my 950 XL, and it works. But there are limitations. So the first thing, if people that have a Lumia 950, 950 XL, and to be just quite blunt, if you're going to do it on either 950 XL is one you want to do. You have a little more resources to work with on a 950 XL, but you're going to have issues with phone. So the phone is not reliable. The phone part of it, it's it works, doesn't work. So that's going to be an issue for you. Now, knowing that. Thought, well, maybe there's some other ways around this, and I'm just looking to do this for an understanding of how this is going to ultimately work on the Duo. So I, on my PC, use your phone. And like right now, if I were to receive a call, I will answer it on my PC, not on Duo 2. So... I installed your phone and I made a connection between, I chose a uh, Samsung S10 plus because I don't have it paired with anything in your phone any longer. So I paired it up and I started checking to see, well, how do things work? My big thing that I wanted to test was using Android apps and uh, your phone installed, your phone makes the connection, you try to open up apps, there's just not enough memory. And what I did is I said, okay, I'm going to step back and just let me make a connection to the screen. And that happened, but on my 950XL, I just had a blank window. So I started activating, you know, making movements on the box area and they were occurring over on the phone. So it was working. I just, there's just not enough resources to bring everything up and display. So three gig of RAM, you're really, really, really pushing yourself. Uh, the processor just makes things lag. I don't know, maybe if I had left it there for an hour, maybe it would have ultimately drawn, but I know your phone will work. And Looking at the OnePlus project, now it's an 845 processor, a little bit better processor, but it, you can get them and well, you can get them down, I think, as low as 4 gig of RAM, 6, 8, and 12 gigabyte of RAM. So that gives you a lot more to work with, but you're still going to have to make some kind of connection, I believe, to do phone. If you want to make phone calls and receive messages, you're going to end up having to do something like your phone. So it's kind of bouncing through my head about maybe getting one of those devices to play around with it. But following the Duo WOA project, 
very closely. Gustav said just a couple of days ago in the uh, Telegram channel that he's real close, getting close to maybe being able to release something. But he's got a few things he wants to get working. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hopeful in the next week or two, maybe we might be able to do something. And it brings up the next point of, do I do a dual boot? Do I get another duo? But it's going to go on my duo. Right now, uh, WOA only sp supports up to the 850X processors. So you, you will not work with an 888 right now. You can't put Windows on ARM on an 888. So we can't begin to put it on a Duo 2. Why do I want to do this? Well, there's some very good reasons why I want to do it. And if we can get this working, I plan to implement and utilize. So it'll go on the duo or a duo. The reason I want to implement it is mainly OneNote, I guess, right now. When I look at OneNote on Android, we miss a number of things. That's very usable. I use it. It's a a very important tool. I, I did a video back a month and a half or so ago about uh, showing how you can use OneNote, and I plan to update that video or do an update where I ex show you actually how to go through all the steps. And my integration of OneNote, not just that my notes are up on a PC or over on my Surface or any of the other devices, I do do certain things in the desktop version of OneNote. You know, there you can do templates and you have far more control over uh, building a notebook than you do down in the Android version. So I do a lot of the integration part, I would say, from the Android up to the Windows. But why I have to do that if I can potentially do that on the device straight away and not have, you know, if I want to create a new notebook and have uh, sections with subsections and be able to sub page my uh, pages and certain things that you just, uh, the Android does not, the Android app does not address. Why, why not just be able to do that directly on my mobile device, which means running Windows on my mobile device. So if I can get functional Windows with maybe that second right-hand screen being a uh, second monitor, you know, however, I don't have to have duo features, but if that second screen can be like a second monitor and thus I can treat it like I do dual monitors, then I have a, I have a solution I think I can use. If I want note or not notes, but messages up on my uh, duo, just like right now that I have messages there, even though there's no SIM card in it, the messages connects to my messages on my duo too. So I can do the same thing up in windows. I can use the web messages and send and receive messages if I want directly from there. So, and I could, make phone calls. I'm fairly certain, just like I do on my PC, I would be able to make phone calls and receive phone calls. So I mean, the biggest thing is the phone and the messaging app. I get over that hurdle, then most everything that I need is there. And then anything Android wise, I can have that in a window up on my um, uh, Duo running the Windows 11. So uh, there's, there are solutions. Uh, this makes a good package solution. So it's, it's actually given me some thought about, oh, if I could just find a small Android device, a small Android device that could make the connectivity to a cellular network to give me phone uh, and my messages and Android app access don't even need a screen on it. 
but if it's a screen, it can it can be a little four inch or you know a, a four inch screen would be fine. That would be more than enough. I don't need a screen. I just need connectivity. It'd be great if it's five G. But if we could get a device like that, Microsoft, don't put a screen on it. Use your phone, a little module that makes your cellular connectivity much like a MiFi. Hey, you could put Windows 11 on these things and not put Android. So anyway, I just thought I'd give that little update of where the WOA is at for me. Again, I do have it on my 950XL, and it's just a toy. So if I wanted to have a slab device with Windows 11 or any device and have Windows on it, this is not the device because it's just not got the horsepower. It doesn't have the resources. It's other thing which I can get over because there is a, a shell. But the other thing is that Windows 11 is not, or it's not designed for small screens. That's probably the better way to put it. The UI is not there for a small screen. So there's a developer opportunity to really expand on that Mobi shell that's been developed to expand on that and make it a more usable UI then maybe you could, not with the 950XL, but maybe you could with a OnePlus 6T. You're going to have to hunt down some better hardware. But the Duo will be working. Gustav will have that working for his team. I don't know who all is helping him. Uh, he seems to be the most prominent person in the channel talking. Okay, that's it. Found the video useful, of course. I need likes. I need subscriptions. Share it. Let other people know. Comment. Tell me what you think. I really am interested in your thoughts on running Windows on a mobile device. The kind of combinations that I've mentioned here, does that sound interesting to you? Thanks for watching.